This is a very hotly debated topic, I guess. Uh, it's this idea of notebooks versus projects. In this video, when Will and Sebastian discuss notebooks, they don't mean the three-hole punch kind. They're talking about a Jupyter notebook that looks like this. Notebooks are a form of interactive computing. Projects are a collection of Python files that make up a Python package, like the example shown here. If you learned machine learning and data science in a university class today, most likely you were taught to use a notebook first. But that's not really representative of what happens in the real world, meaning when you go to industry or an actual company. I think there is no right and wrong. Like There is always like a use case for every tool there is out there, otherwise this tool would probably not exist. Personally, I'm actually a big fan of notebooks, but it depends, of course, what you use it for. So we just want to talk about what are the differences between developing notebooks and when not to use notebooks. So I personally use notebooks when I want to prototype an idea. This happens a lot in research where you think of something and you're like, maybe I should try this model. So um, I would get into a, a notebook very quickly and just like, just put the code down as fast as possible to know if this is even feasible or not. And then I think the other times that I use it for are really like analyzing a model or analyzing the results of something or interacting with it. Like maybe I want to run an input through a model to see what it is, what are the gradients, what are the vectors look like, do some quick embeddings, like some exploratory stuff as well. Um, so I'm curious, when do you use notebooks? A notebook is really uh, yeah, a scratch pad, a notebook where you take notes. And it's not something maybe that you take away as a final product in your software engineering. But a notebook is still, I, th I think, something fine that we can use for ourselves to uh, yeah, scratch out our ideas. Another thing I like Jupyter Notebooks for is really uh, when I want to explain something to someone. Because Jupyter Notebooks, they allow you to execute things um, yeah, incrementally. So I can actually prepare my script. I can have a notebook for a given concept. I can have images in this notebook. I can have mathematical equations and some notes. And I can really step through this uh, incrementally, which is yeah, incredibly hard with a Python script, which uh, yeah, runs the whole code all at once. If you're teaching a mathematical concept, like optimization or just models themselves, probably very useful because you want, you want the students to be focused specifically on, that, on those ideas. But realistically, you don't want them to leave that class without knowing how to convert that into a project so that they can actually do meaningful work with it. I encourage people, like once, once you are past that POC phase where you're like, okay, I get it, this is gonna work, I would say convert to a project and make it into an actual Python package because it's just going to make time to production and time to doing something meaningful with it very fast. What you find today is that a lot of companies are having problems taking those notebooks and turn them into a production system because they're not built for production. These notebooks end up going to an engineering team, you know, you throw it over the fence and then you hope and pray that like a year later they roll this out. And it takes like six months a year for that team to understand what's going on, turn it into something that's scalable as well. So I think that's really where you start to have the issues with it. And this includes even paper publishing. Like, I mean, how many of us go through the paper writing process? We publish a paper, it gets accepted. And then what do you not want to do? You don't want to clean up your code and open source it, right? So it's really hard to then have something for the next researcher when they want to reproduce your results or you want to have a baseline that's your paper. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to do it in a notebook. So it's really meaningful if you do plan to open source your code. And a lot of academic conferences today require you to open source something or show some code. Yeah, this is a good point. You have to be also mindful of who is the audience of your code? Is this just for yourself? Um, is this part of a bigger project? Is this something you're going to share with collaborators? And yeah, you want to, let's say, reduce the burden uh, on, let's say, uh, your future self and also your collaborators. Try to uh, think of yeah, use cases um, where things might break. Uh, is, is a Jupyter Notebook the right, right tool, for example, for um, yeah, debugging your code? I mean, it, it's, a, it's a great uh, scratch pad, but also as you keep notes, um, for yourself, let's say on a piece of paper. This piece of paper is nothing probably that you are going to share with collaborators. You will have a more nicely written, let's say, a meeting note file on your computer that you are going to share, the more polished version. And in the same sense, you probably don't want to uh, share yeah, your, your notebooks. I use notebooks a lot, but also it doesn't mean I just use a notebook. I have more like a, a hybrid approach. 
the beginning of a project, I usually start with my notebooks, but yeah, the bigger the project becomes, the more I move things from the notebook into Python scripts. Sometimes I tie them together with my Jupyter notebooks, but yeah, it's an organic process. Uh, you do develop a feeling doing some projects when to use which tool. It's a learning curve, no right or wrong. Um, start with a tool that feels right uh, for you, but if you notice there is some downside to it, don't feel like you are stuck with this tool. Feel free to experiment. Again, takeaway is there's no right or wrong answer. It really depends on your workflow. If you're in a POC stage or you want to experiment some ideas, notebook is not a bad idea and it actually will help you move really quickly. Another use case for notebooks is when you want to analyze something or you want to understand what's going on or interact with your model or what you're working on. Once you know that you're going to evolve that and you're likely going to collaborate with people or you're in an industry or you're going to publish that open source, then it's probably a good idea to go ahead and migrate it into a project itself. One tool is not better than the other. It's just different tools are better for different things. Just be mindful of the task and the problem you're going to solve. And also, yeah, think about uh, your future self, making life um, easier for you, for your collaborators, and pick the right tool for the task. Thank you for taking time out of your day to hang out with us. Uh, I hope it was fun. I had fun. So we're going to be doing a lot more of these. So stay tuned and hope to see you again.